find light in a beautiful sea. I choose to be happy. You and I, you and I, I like diamonds in the sky. Hi, this is a quick tutorial on how to use Audacity. It's a free program that you can download and only download from a re reliable site. And I'm talking fast because I only have 10 minutes of record time and I want to cram this all in. So, open up your Audacity program. Open up the file you'd like to edit, the music file. And it has to be converted into an MP3 to use. At least that's what I do. I like MP3s. Um, and I use Zamzar Converter online to do that. All right, open up the file you'd like to work on. The track, uh, let's do this one. Okay, there it is. Now, there's your track. And if you're working on it, it's highlighted like that, okay? All right, first thing I do is I go Effect. And you want your hard limiter. If you can't see all your features in the Effects drop-down menu, you have arrows here and an arrow here. So slide it down, and there's your hard limiter down there. It just wasn't visible. Hard limiter. Leave everything as the defaults are. Change dB limit to 8. Oops. I'll get it. Here we go. 8. Okay. Now, I change echo. Effect. And echo. 1.0. Decay factor, let's leave it and see what happens. All right, good enough. That's echo. And this is all to give it some fullness and richness. And now I do effect equalization. I don't touch anything in here because it's way too complicated and I don't have the psychic energy to fumble with all these buttons. So leave the defaults. And what I do is do bass cut on this track. Bass cut. Okay. Now, um, when you use the hard limiter and some of the other features, sometimes it minimizes your amplification or your volume. So you may want to change it at this point, but you don't have to because you can do this at the end. So I'm not going to do it yet. All right. So that's the first track. So now what we're going to do is add a second of the same track to give the voice some light layer, some richness and fullness. So to add a track, you click on this track. You would click here to highlight this track and do edit copy and after you do that you go tracks add new audio track see it's opened up a blank track for you to work with here click here so you're working on the bottom track and do edit paste and this track is just for the purposes of richness and fullness so I'm going to add some more echo on the second track only now oh, make sure you're clicked here we have a darker blue um, highlight so you're on this track your bottom track so do effect, echo, um, and use the same thing you have in from last time. Delay time is 1. Decay factor stays at 0 0.5 as the default goes. Hit OK. On the second track again, let's add a bass boost to give it some richness. And that's equalization. We'll leave this all alone. Hit bass boost. OK. And like I said, this is just the way I do it. This is me. All right, now, effect, another thing for the bottom track. Again, we're down here. Effect, and we're going to do equalization one more time. And this time we do a treble cut. See, treble cut? Okay. Now, at this point, my voice is a little raspy for a female, and it needs to be softened up a bit. So what I do, if you want to highlight two tracks at the same time, hit the first one, hold shift, and click it on your mouse. And now, as you can see, these are both highlighted or bolded or whatever. So you can have both tracks to work with simultaneously as opposed to one at a time. So what I want to do is shift the pitch up. Effect. Change pitches here. If you couldn't see it, use your up and down arrows here and here to find things you can't see. Change pitch. I'm going to put it at 2.0. Okay. Good. That's about it. Now, right here, you might want to amplify your track if you need to because you'd be able to listen to it. I just can't do it because I have two programs that require audio. One's my software to record my screen, and this program requires audio, and my computer's not all that powerful, so I can't do both. So if you wanted to listen, 
You would hit here, the green arrow, to play, and that stops it. All right? So right now, if you wanted to do your amplification, if you didn't like your volume, highlight both. You know, same thing I showed you before. Click a track, shift, hold your other track. They're both highlighted. Do effect. Amplify is up top. And again, if you couldn't see it, use your arrow to scroll up. Hit amplify. And as you can see, you can put the volume where you want it. Just for the uh, to show you how it works, I'll put it up some. Now, the funny thing is, Amplify won't let you go where you want. Like, you can't put it up here. You have to kind of put it here and then slide down until it gives you the OK button. It's not highlighted right now or clickable. See? It's gray. Slide down, slide down, and in a minute, you're going to see. That's the most amplification you can do. Hit OK. And as you can see, your two tracks open wider. They're amplified. So that's what I do with the vocal, and I have samples here to show you exactly how this vocal will change, hopefully for the better. And that's it for now. Sorry I had to go so fast. I'm on a clock here. All right. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you on the next video. Find light in a beautiful sea. I choose to be happy. You and I, you and I. I like diamonds in the sky. Find light in a beautiful sea. I choose to be happy. You and I, you and I. I like diamonds in the sky. There's a thin line between thin reality line and psychosis. 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 Please, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs>